So we're here packing up at Stone Mountain Safaris in British Columbia for my stone sheep hunt. It's pretty exciting. Um, last night was a great night, sitting around the lodge, catching up with other folks, and this is just a big family here. Leif Olson's got a great operation. He's been doing it a long time up here in BC, and we're really excited to see the wilderness here and get after it. So guys are getting the gear going, and we're ready. It might be a while before the next meal. You never know. Yeah. 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 Thank you very much. You here we go. See you, buddy. Yeah. Take care. Yeah. Mark the trailhead. We're at the trailhead. I always like to know where I'm going just in case I get left alone. There we go. Well, we made it to base camp, <laughs> like, uh, just like I dreamed it would be epic, <laughs> beautiful. I can't eat yet because my cameraman needs to see the steam come off it and, you know. I'm well, checking the weather forecast on my inReach. It just looks like we got this current weather that we we're having. The rains are moving through and going away and I guess it's sheep hunting. It's living in the mountains. You never know. If you want the weather to change, just wait a couple minutes. So, But we're getting excited. It's the day before sheep. And we're going to get up in the tops here, hopefully, and camp out on the on the rim. Uh, got a good place up there with a great view, and we hope to be able to pitch our tents and start in the morning from the top down. I've never done that sheep hunting yet thus far. It's always been climb up every day to a spot and look for sheep. If you don't see the sheep, you come back down to your camp. Well, we're going to spike out on the top, so it's pretty exciting. stay at the top but it's starting to thunder. I don't know if that's where we want to go. It's starting to rain on us. So it's getting real. <laughs> Did a look from the top and he spotted actually quite a bit lower like way down 35 ramps in one group he said nothing <laughs> nothing outrageously big but certainly a couple we need to take a look at i can't imagine there won't be a legal ram in 35 of them. you would think if you were a gambling man if i'm a gambling man there <laughs> might be one i will go up in the morning and down the other side that's going to be tricky because there's 35 seats of ice in there. I was going to say, 35 ramps. Have you ever seen that many together? No. The most I've ever seen is 31. Yep. It's about every sheep in the bloody range. <laughs> well, well. 
later outside he's frightful. <laughs> I couldn't sleep. I just kept counting sheep. <laughs> oh, did it ever get dark here? I don't think so. Oh, I didn't sleep very good at all. But there's sheep in those mountains. We must go. It also has an upside, a silver lining. If people care about the sheep, they're gonna protect the sheep. And so, you know, it's, if they're hunting legal and they're hunting ethical, I can't be mad about it. We just gotta try to get to the sheep first if we can. And if we can't, we figure it out later. But it's good to have people care about the sheep other than us. So I'm trying to keep up with my guide now. Broomed. The big knobby so one. That there. That's that's the one with the knob on it. Uh-huh. And then this one here. That's the one that's also broomed. Yeah, that's the one I was looking at. Wow. Kirk found a pile of rams last night. And we got a couple things. We have uh tons of eyeballs. We think we got about 40 sheep in that valley. And uh, we had some residents up above. Whether we're going to run into them or not, we don't know. We got to wait for the thermals to change and start to try to make a play right? pretty much. stomach are real. We got a pile of sheep and we just had so many eyeballs. Hopefully we can pull this off. We'll get up set up. We can just take it on. Take some real good footage. Yes. Gotcha. Ready? Tell me if you're on him. Can I hit him? Oh shit, there they are. Oh no. We just shot one. Did they shoot the same one? That's our one down there. Get ready. Where's ours? Is he standing there? No, he just laid down. Okay, he's in that valley. They're shooting another one. Okay. His head's shaking. His head's shaking. Surely they're not shooting my ram, are they? They're not be. Oh my God. This is unbelievable what just happened. I just shot a ram and these other guys were coming over another Where ridge. Where did they come from? I don't know. They were coming over another ridge and I shot him, well, I heard the impact and they shot too. I think we might have shot the same ram. I might have just lost my ram. No way, no way. There's guys coming in from every direction. This is unbelievable. Unbelievable. Congratulations, man. Congrats. <laughs> 
<laughs> you got a dandy, man. Right on, congrats. Thank you. Nice work. Thank nice you. work. Thanks. Got your slam round or what? Yeah, yeah it oh, is, buddy. Yeah, yeah, it is. Not a boy. Not a boy. I promise. I promised my dad, when his dad met, I was gonna get him. Yeah, you did. He's there. I recognize you from Sheep Show, man. It's Thanks. Dan, right? Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> don't be, famous, don't buddy. be sorry, buddy. Don't be sorry. Shoot. You got a hell of a booth, man. Thank you. I'm That's a lucky a guy. I'm a lucky guy. Yeah, you are. Thank you. <laughs> sorry to be such a ball bag. <laughs> when you come if see me, if, if you it's come. my grand slam ram, I'll be doing the same thing. You come, because I'm only halfway there, buddy. Come see me at the booth. I owe you a drink, maybe two or three, and that's no bullshit. What's I your owe name? You a couple too, Derek. Derek, nice come see me. I will. Get it together, man. <laughs> Look how beautiful the sheep is, Tanner. It's beautiful, man. We did it. Obviously, a lot of emotion today. It was a spiritual day, a lot of hard work. Um, I couldn't believe what happened when it happened when, in regards to the other hunters, the resident hunters that were in here, but it all worked out. I got a beautiful stone sheep in British Columbia, and I can't thank Stone Mountain Safaris enough for having me here to do this. And I have to thank always Uncle Brad for providing me the platform. I would, never would have thought I'd be able to kill all four North American sheep. And then finally, I promised my father, I promised dad, I needed a goal as I was saying goodbye. And I told him I'd kill all four and I did it, dad. And uh, like I said, I got all those emotions out and I'm, I feel so much better. And obviously I feel amazing. This is the experience. This is my experience. And I can't wait to share it with you.